Welcome to Mark Forge Maintenance with Quest Integration. This video is part three of extrusion system maintenance focused on feed tube replacement. We will be working with a Mark II, but this will apply to all desktop and industrial composite printers. First, be sure to unload the plastic and fiber filament from your machine. Press on the push to connect fitting on the dry box adapter and pull the old plastic feed tube out of the dry box adapter fitting. Do the same on the extruder side and pull the tube out of the printer. Insert one end of the new plastic feed tube into the adapter on the side of the dry box. Then put the plastic feed tube through the opening in the back of the printer. You'll attach the tube to the extruder when you're ready to load your material. Simply push it into place to do this. To remove your fiber feed tube, use a 2mm hex key to loosen but not remove the top right socket head cap screw on the fiber extruder. For desktop machines, Detach the fiber feed tube from the fiber extruder and pass the tube through the channel at the bottom of the plastic extruder toward the back of the printer. On industrial machines, you won't go through the plastic extruder. Then remove the tube through the hole behind the linear rail at the back of your printer. Carefully pull the new fiber feed tube up through the channel behind the rail at the back of the printer. Then, if you have a desktop series machine, pull the tube through the channel in the bottom of the plastic extruder toward the front of the printer. Attach the fiber feed tube into the slot on the right side of the fiber extruder. Then use the 2mm hex key to tighten the top right socket head cap screw until it secures the fiber feed tube. Now you can reload your material and begin printing. Head to our website in the description for links to the support documents for further instructions. We also offer support plans for all our Markforged printers. Contact us for help. 